seems like bad luck at the box office is just commonplace for woke SJW Disney these days. I mean, they used to be the kings of entertainment where, you know, they have a few flops here and there, but most films make them lots of money. Now it's like they're struggling to even break even. They're lucky now they even just break even on a film that won't actually make a profit. Everything they come out with just bombs or just, just is able to break even. Yeah, they have had a few successes here and there, yeah, but those are the exception rather than the rule. Uh, they, in terms of their animated films, not good whatsoever. They've actually had three flops in a row. That's, that's, because, you know, three flops, but then when you have them in a row, too, that's only adds, it's just the icing on the cake. So this year on the direct, Disney suffers three box office flops in a row with their animated movies. This is back in June 30th, 2023. This article was posted. It says, Disney and Pixar have been the pinnacle of animation for as long as anyone can remember. Will the castle and death slam still hold weight no uh, to, sorry, still hold weight no other animation studio can hold? Their most recent entries into the box office history books have been major letdowns. Lightyear, Strange World, and Elemental all possess the foundational qualities of a classic Disney or Pixar animated feature, top tier animation, star power, marketing campaigns, touching every screen in existence. Despite the brand and formula being well at work, the last three entries from the animation studios have been an unquestionable flops. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> they can't even break even, that's the, that's the fun part. Uh, so of course, first on the list is they have Lightyear. Budget was $200 million, uh, profit goal was $400 million. They're worldwide, not just in America, or even North America, basically across the entire world. Uh, $226,425,420 worldwide against the budget of $200 million. So, of course, they obviously did not even break even at that point. Uh, because just to break even, they'd have to make well over $400 million. Estimated profit was basically lost. $173,571,580. Basically, it's $173,571,580. Yeah, not good whatsoever. Uh, while well, Lightyear is the biggest total success on the list, the loss is taken the legacy sequel. Sorry, loss taken on this legacy sequel is still a gut punch. The biggest name in both uh, in both title and star Lightyear could not reach the heights it was set up to. It did not even come close. Putting it in the universe of Toy Story, Lightyear, uh, nearly sorry is nearly half the total of the next lowest grossing movie in the franchise. Toy Story One to Four averaged seven hundred and fifty eight million two hundred forty two thousand three hundred sixty six dollars uh, in the U S money at the box office. Strike one. But it doesn't end there. Second one on the list is uh, Strange World. Budget of $120 million. Their goal was $360 million. Worldwide gross, not again, not in North America, worldwide, uh, $73,621,640. Their uh, estimated profit lost $286,378,360. Yeah. Uh, says Strange World is a project that seemed to be trying to catch up to the expectations from the moments audience, audiences first learned it existed. Citing the, a shallow story, less than engaging characters, and a complicated information, Strange World never really got off the ground with critics and audiences or box office totals. Yeah, I did a bunch of videos on that back when that whole dumpster fire was going down. Third on the list is you have Elemental. The budget was $200 million. Their profit goal was, of course, $400 million uh, worldwide. Uh, the current worldwide gross, as of now, is $128,311,527. Wow. Uh, the profit, estimated profit loss would be uh, $200 million, of course. Elemental had the feel of a turning point for Disney Pixar animation. His style and visuals were stunning, and that is uh, presented extremely well with the promotional material, despite what it felt like the next big hit, audiences did not show up. Elemental keeps getting better legs than did on opening weekend but is still on track and is barely able to back the budget leaving it as a third straight animated flop for the house of mouse strike three now what's the one thing all these films have in common by the way too all of them have a woke shaw ideology lightyear had a gay kiss scene strange world was pretty much about this gay romance and environmentalism and everything else and then of course elemental has a non-binary has non-binary themes you know that's really the common theme that the article does seem to kind of overlook is yeah, it, I mean, from a story standpoint, a lot of them sucked, but also people don't want to have this stuff injected in their child's minds. See, Disney seems to have just failed the grasp, but see, they thought they were too big to fail. Well, they're failing now, and they don't want to just admit that you go woke, you go broke, plain and simple. It's not just a vain, empty phrase. It's just a blunt reality these people don't want to accept. So yeah, just failure after failure after failure for Disney, and it's going to keep being that way, because the definition of insanity is just doing the same thing over and over and just expecting different results each time. 
So they're going to keep having these kind of failures until they actually just provide entertainment and not political propaganda for these, you know, blue-haired, SJW, feminist, lesbian, you know, transgender, whatever's on the internet. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. May the greatest of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.